So, so glad that you're able to join us again uh, for this lesson here for our, our elementary group lesson for children and youth ministry. And I want to jump right in because we have a, uh, there's a scripture text, there's a story from the Bible that I want to share with you guys. It's pretty long, so I want to go ahead and jump right into our lesson for today. So as you guys know, we have been talking about the rules for life. So let's just kind of do a quick little recap in regards to that, the rules for life, um, and play well, finish strong. We are talking about the song, Strong Finish. Remember, we talked about responsibility as well. And so remember, we said that responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. And so again, you know, recapping this, in fact, God is not going to trust us or uh, make us responsible for anything that he does not trust us with. So if you believe that God is making you responsible for something, it means that he trusts that you can get it done. Again, as we were talking, you can get it done with him. Remember our memory verse or our scripture for the month, Luke chapter 16, verse 10, the beginning part of that. Suppose you can be trusted with something very little then you can also be trusted with something very large. So again, and this is going to really tie into the scripture lesson that we're going to be looking at for this week. If God trusts us with something little and we do well with that, then he can trust us with something very large. And this is a really good tie into our lesson for this week. And so here's our lesson for this week. This is the topic title. Make the most of what you've been given. Make the most of what we, you've been given. So we've talked about love God, and we talk about love others as we love ourselves. God has given us the ability to do that. Remember, we also talked about how, you know, the rich man, he just wanted to store up a lot of things, and he didn't give it. He didn't ask God, what should I do with it? He just said, I'm just going to store it up and and just eat, drink, and be merry. And God said to him this very night, your life will be demanded of you. When we talked about that. And so as we read this story in the Bible today, think about what has God given you and are you making the most of it? And this may be a scripture lesson that you've read before. And if you have not read it before, this is a really good scripture lesson. And so as always, you know, you can go ahead and grab your Bible. I am going to um, show the scriptures on your screen so that we can just walk through it today. Um, and then, as always, we'll, we'll talk about it and everything. But again, this is coming through map, coming from Matthew chapter 25, verse 14 through 30. And we are going to read all through this because I really want you to understand this story here. Okay. All right. So Matthew 25, let's start at verse 14. And so this is Jesus telling a parable where he's sharing a story with people. He says, again, it would be like a man going on a journey. He called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one, he gave five bags of gold. To another, he gave two bags. And to another, one bag, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. And so I just want to talk about this word. So just imagine that there is a person, the owner, uh, you can look at it in so many different ways, but this man owned a, a store or, or he had people that was working for him and he was going to leave and go on a long journey. But before he left, he gave each of his servants or each of the different people that worked for him something. He gave one member. So this is back in Bible time. So it's more of gold or silver. So in other words, he gave him money In some uh, scriptures, they call it talent. And so he gave one five bags of gold and he gave another two bags of gold. And then he gave another one, one bag of gold. And it said each according to his ability. So remember we talked about responsibility. And so responsibility is that you're trusted. Like I trust that you can handle this. So this owner or this, this man that had these different people that work for him, he trusted one person to take care of five bags, another one, two another one, one back. And then it says that he went on his journey. Verse 16, verse 16, it says, the man who had received five bags of gold at once, he put his money to work and then he gained five more bags or five bags more. So also the one who had two uh, bags of gold 
gain two more. So both of these people, whatever they did, they doubled what they had. So the one that had five bags of gold, whatever he did, he went and made four more bags. Maybe he sold some things. Maybe he put some things into a bank account so that he can make more money. Whatever he did, he made five more. The one with the two made two more. But the one who had received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. So the one that received one bag didn't do anything to increase it, to double it, anything. He just took what he had and, and put it in the hole in the ground. Verse 19 says, after a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. So in other words, he came back to see, okay, what did y'all do? You know, did you, what, in other words, what did you do with the bags of gold that I gave you? So the man who had received five bags of gold brought the other five. He said, master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold. See, I have gained five more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man with two bags of gold also came and said, Master, you entrusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. He said, Master, I knew that you are a hard man harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. And so what, what this person did with what this one bag of gold said, you know, I knew that you was going to come back and you was going to want the bag of gold back from me. So what I did is just dug it in the ground, hoping that I can keep it. <laughs> so the master comes and he says, and here's the one bag of gold that you gave me. His master replied, you wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I've not sown and gather where I've not scattered seed. Well then, you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers so that when I return, I would have received it back with interest. So take the bag of gold from him and give it to the one who has 10 bags, for whoever has will be given more, and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. And then it says, throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness, where they will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So let me just go back for a moment. So the one that took the one bag and did nothing with it, one bag of gold and did nothing with it. It says that the master came and said, take the bag of gold from him and give it to the one that had 10. Remember, the one that had 10 is the one that started off with five bags of gold and he invested it, he worked, he made five more. Now he has 11 bags of gold. And then it says in the Bible, it says, for whoever has will be given more and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. And this is interesting. So here's the question, and this is our, our theme thing or the statement. Make the most of what you've been given. What has God given you? Remember the rich guy again that we talked about last week. He had a lot. Uh, his crops were growing, grain, he, so much that so he had to build more barns. but. He didn't do anything with it. He just stored it up. He didn't give to anybody. He didn't ask God, what should I do with it? And it, it's just like this same story here. The one that had one bag of gold just dug it in the ground and said, you know what? I'm not going to do anything with it. But the ones that decided that they, want, they were going to do something with it, they got more. Um, and And it also says that the master said, come and enjoy my happiness. So here's the question. What has God given you? And if you 
know what he's given you, what are you doing with it? Make the most of what you have been given. And so maybe as we talked last week, maybe you've been blessed with a, you know, a lot of toys, a lot of games. Uh, maybe you've been blessed with a, a gift or a talent. And God is saying, what are you doing with what you have been given? Um, because if you do nothing with it, then you will have nothing. But if you do something with it, then you receive more. Because that's what happened in the story. The ones that did something with what they had, they got more. The ones that did nothing with what they had, even what they had was taken away from them. And so for me, I would rather do something with what God has blessed me with so that God can bless me with more so that I can do more with what he has blessed me with. And it just continues to grow. But I don't want to not do anything with what I do have because I realized that one day, even the little thing that I did nothing with, it'll be taken away from me. And so make the most of what you have been given. Think about what you have been given, whether it's material things, whatever it is, maybe it's talents or gifts. You maybe you have a special ability to do something. You say, ah, I don't feel like doing that. But God is saying, use that. You have it for a reason. And God is saying, I want you to use that so that I can even bless you with more. I want to go back to one of the scriptures we looked at in the beginning and where it says, suppose you can be entrusted with something very little, then you can also be entrusted with something very large. So again, it's God saying, if I can trust you with something little, then I can trust you with something large as well. And so use what it is that God has given you. And so again, so this is part of the rules for life. Play well, finish strong. Um, and, you know, I thought about it last week, some of my uh, favorite games and everything. And this is another one of the favorite games on here. And this is Uno. And so, again, it's so important for us. Uh, every game that we receive, it has within it the rules of how to play or the instructions on how to play as well. And that is the same thing that as we take time and we are reading the Bible and you guys are joining us on these different lessons. You're learning about what God is saying of how to live our life. And when we do that, we can finish strong in whatever it is that God wants us to do. So I'm so excited that you're joining us. We have two more Sundays for this month of January, um, uh, different lessons that's going to teach us some things as well. And so let's go ahead and uh, we'll close out in prayer and then we'll wrap things up. God, thank you for this lesson that you've taught, to, taught us today. Uh, it's the parable of the bag of gold, or some may call it the parable of the talents. But we thank you that you have blessed each and every one of our students with something. And I pray that you will show them, reveal to them, and make it clear to them what it is that they are blessed. What do they have that they can, number one, thank you for, love you, God, with all of our heart, and really thanking you and praying to you, what should I do with this? Then they can be happy that they are blessed with it as part of loving themselves, and then love their neighbor, God, and how they can be a blessing unto someone else as well. Whatever it is that you have blessed us with, help us not just to hold on to it, but help us to pray and ask you, how can we use what you bless us with to be more of a blessing to other people as well? And so, Father, we thank you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, well, thank you for joining us again. Join us next week as we continue to dig deeper into the Bible and share some amazing lessons with you as well. So thank you for joining. You have a wonderful week.